okay welcome to our youtube channel this is sales forecasting tutorial series in machine learning and uh, it is our second video in this tutorial series uh, and in our first video we covered the meaning of project uh, importance of project how to load the data mm, and a simple project demo so in this video we are going to cover two things first one is checking the missing values and the second thing is to fix them as you can see after loading our data set uh, in column named the red there are two two rows are missing here this zero row and the first row so let's check the whole data set how many numbers of missing values uh, where do missing values found I mean in which columns do these missing values are and how to fix them so the first thing we need to do is to check the missing values the data dot is null is null bracket dot sum to get the the total number the total number of missing values let me let me put comment checking missing values yes and uh, let's learn this uh, here you can see that uh, in column rate there are there are two missing values but in quorum cells in first month zero missing vowels cells in second month zero missing vowels and the cells in third month it is zero missing vowels so let me let me do something here let me say data dot mean i hope is data dot mean if i'm not wrong let me learn this first oops okay this is the mean of all columns so let me, let me put a comment here mean of columns mean of columns uh, I will tell you why do I find the mean of each columns because this was my question uh, in my pub public lecture about uh, data science someone told me uh, why do we need to check the mean of data set so when fixing missing values uh, sometimes we need to fix rows of I mean we need to fix the missing values we see the quorum mean let's say let's say the the la, let's say let's assume that in a quorum cells in the first month if there would be missing values means we would fill missing values by using the mean so cells in first month with this mean would fill missing values if we would have missing values so a concept key concept to note that now we find the mean of each column because we can use the mean of each column to fill missing values in corresponding columns so here we go mm, a last part of our second tutorial in sales forecasting tutorial series we are going to fix fixing mixing vials uh, let me say let me say feeling fearing missing vials missing vials so mm, here in a quorum rate will fill this with zero zero and we only need to fill to fix missing vowels of quorum named rate so let me do here some some few things 
me let me do it here uh data data then i put a bracket i select column name the red dot fill n a this is for filling missing files then a bracket zero impress is equal to true impress is equal to true so impress is equal to true means accept and save the changes fill n a is python pandas function for filling missing vars by using provided number so here we need to fill a missing vars in a, in a column red with zero so let me let me run this command let me let, let me run this cell now we have seen that uh in a column red all n a will be replaced with one so so let me let me display data dot head to see the changes something like this right let me run this now you can see in column red zero zero have replaced the n a so what if you could have missing vowels in a let's say in a, in, a, in a first day, in first in cells in first month how could you fix it by using mean as i've provided the uh, explanation before that why do we need the mean and how can we use mean in fixing missing vowels so this is an example let's say in a quorum in a quorum cells in the first month let me copy or copy it single quote yes so fill in a let's say let's assume that we would have missing vowels in a quorum cells in the first month so data square bracket then name of quorum dot fill n a which is python function python pandas function for filling missing vowels then here we need to we need to to specify uh with which 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 value which value should be fill missing val vowels so uh, data then bracket something like this then dot mean dot mean then impress impress is equal to true impress is equal to true so what is the meaning of this line let me give clear description about this so here we have selected the quorum named as the cells and we need to fill all the missing vowels by using python pandas function fill an a so we are going to fill all the missing vowels in this quorum by using uh, is mean i mean the mean of of the quorum that's why we have we have done cells in first month dot mean so the mean of first of cells in first month which is this will f will be filled in all missing vowels so this is how you can you can use mean uh to to fill missing vowels let me see what's the error he was what's wrong cells cells in cells in first month let me see oops here there is a space let's learn once again here okay now you can see everything is clear everything is clear so this is how you can fill missing vowels in python pandas by using function called fill and a 
so you fill you choose a column to fill i mean you choose a column which have missing values then you specify a value to fill those missing values or you can choose the column which contain missing values then you fill those missing values by using column mean as we have done in cells in first month we selected uh, column cells in first month we assume these have missing values then we fill the missing values with the column mean thus this is how you can fill missing values by using column mean so this is end of our second tutorial in sales forecasting uh, in machine learning <laughs> let me edit here sales, sales forecasting in ml in machine learning so to, to put a, a short summary of what we have covered in this tutorial uh, we have covered how to check missing values then we have checked or we have learned how to find the mean of each columns then we have covered how to fill missing files here i have shown you two methods on how you can fill missing files by using python pandas fill na function you can fill missing values by using zero or you can fill missing values by using is column mean so thanks for watching this is the end of my second tutorial in sales forecasting using machine learning uh, in our next video we will learn about feature selection so don't miss our tutorial series is stuck with me like put comment and subscribe for next video update goodbye